Welcome to Monday. So we're going to talk about the best and worst movie moments. Now for me, I think the best movie moment was in Jennifer's body. That was one seriously hot kiss, wasn't it? It was so good. And the worst has to be Jenny and Shane hooking up on the L word. Yeah, that was so nasty. I mean, who would hook up with Jenny anyway? She was fun and crazy. Mental. Like, so your best would be Xena, but following Xena would be... Jennifer's body. Really? That's a pretty close call. Hmm. Xena was pretty damn hot. Xena was not hot. Xena looks like a training. Not that training found hot, but She was tall, dark, mysterious thing going on. Plus she had Gabrielle as a sidekick, which makes her really hot. Gabrielle was pretty cute. She was hot. She was cute. She tap that. Would have tap Would that. have tap that. Okay, so... Moments. Who was the hottest couple? Megan Fox. And, uh, what's her face? Amanda Seyfried. You think? Mm-hmm. You think... You know who was hot, match. actually? Who was hot? It beat with the carpenter. The carpenter was so cute. Seriously. Now, the carpenter looked like, you know, tranny material. No, the carpenter was totally cute. She was not cute. She was totally cute. cute. Overalls. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Totally got it. And all the way. Which is So, who don't we want back? We, we don't want Anne Heche back. No. She can stay straight. We, we like she her straight. Die. She can. Anyone else we really don't want in our team? Who else can we permanently blacklist? Oprah. Really? See, I wouldn't mind Oprah on our team. I mean, I don't really get it, but... I mean, she's Oprah, right? Okay, I'll press the ladder temporarily until we see how she reacts. What we really want, though, I think. I think in trouble for calling up the gay. I, I, everyone else has done it. I think we're just sheep at this point. You really should come out. She'll cry. She looks like Melissa Etheridge. She does. She looks like Melissa Etheridge. Scarily. And who's the other one we were talking about who totally needs to come out? Oh, um, Boys Don't Cry. You know, Swank? yes. She, t- I mean, there's nothing straight about her, is there? No. It's like, she's the gayest person. Not even her shoes. Especially not her shoes. And when she tries to get girly, she kind of looks like, you know when you get A some butch dress? friend, and you're like, huh, this will be funny, we'll totally dress you up, Finn. And then that's how they'd come out like Hillary Swank. And no one wants to look like Hillary. <laughs> Don't get ideas. I just want to dress a few, you know, watches and dresses. It'll be fun. It is fun. The crates we want to enjoy. With makeup. Yeah, makeup's the funny thing, usually. <laughs> like, when you put them in makeup, they always look so awkward, and then they try and keep their face perfectly still. They're like, do I hate you? Yeah, pretty much. That's a reaction. So who would your fling be, your famous fling? You've had time to think about it now, because you couldn't think of it the other day. So who would it be? No, I had my fling. Oh, who's that? Mila Jovovich. Oh, that's right. Mila Jovovich, who's hideous, but that's fine. She's hot. What She's slamming hot. Anyone she's agree. hideous. Mine would definitely be Megan Fox, because she's got to be one crazy buck wild bitch. Yeah. She's too crazy. Yeah. Maybe. I right. don't want to tattoo her name on my ass or her picture, so. I tattoo her yeah. picture with whatever the fuck she wanted to. I mean, after you got to pick your spot. And uh, who would your relationship be if you pick someone famous? This was the one you were stuck on. Damn. Okay, I'm going to go for Renee O'Connor. Really? Renee O'Connor? You'd actually date her? Seems like a bit of a control freak, but she's quiet. Hmm. I think that's my love. Hmm. I'm married to someone loud. You're not that loud. Okay, I'm kind of loud. Mine would definitely be Ellen, of course. Because, I mean, if you're going to go for a gay, why not go for the beast, right? It's true, she's funny. She is. And can you imagine how fun it. it must be, like, living with her? I mean, seriously, she must be so much fun to live with, you know? Yeah, but jokes 24-7? Mm, I think I'd put up with it. Because she's also seriously hot, which I think really yeah, helps. Yeah, but even then, after a while, it gets to be a little too much. I don't think so. Too much of a good thing. 
No, I think I'd like it. It'd be fun. Maybe. Hmm. What else do we want to say? What about on the list? I think that was it. Is it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because we don't want know who we'd want to see as a couple. Oh yeah, if we can make our dream couple. Who we actually what do we say? say? I can't remember. Angelina Julie and Megan Fox? No, that would be like our no. worst couple. Yeah, that was the worst one. this is what we said, like, if you had Megan Fox and Angelina to like ever be a couple in like a movie or something, who else thinks it would look like some serious mother-daughter action? Because they look so similar that it would just be disturbing, I think. Yeah. It would be messed up. Imagine the milk fantasies, man. I know. Can you imagine? There are boys having wet dreams all over America about that. Yeah. Because they're just like, oh my god, they look exactly the same. And they're both crazy. Um, this one. I can't remember. Chloe Sabini and someone else. Yeah. Well, she's kind of, like, hot in the weirdest way, don't you think? Yeah. Like, because I find her really hot, but I'm not really sure why. I like her boys don't cry, but not so much in, uh, these war, uh, with these wars and stuff. Yeah. You know who was a really weird good couple in that movie? Was, um, Alan and... Sharon Stone. Yeah. They yeah, were, like, a couple. really good couple. They seemed totally believable, didn't they? Absolutely believable. I don't know. They were pretty good. She's got to be good, right? Is Sharon Stone gay? No, she's married. Really? Or divorced. 